What is going on guys and welcome back into a brand new Rams Shells video. Today I'm going to be talking about the LA Rams players that are going to be sticking around with the LA Rams in the 2022 NFL season and re-signing with us and the players that are going to be testing it out with the other teams in 2022 and leaving the Rams. But before I get in this video, I would want to know your thoughts down below on the players that we have left to re-sign and which ones you want us to re-sign the most. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be saying that you want Von Miller and OBJ back and understandably so. These were flashy additions and flashy players on our team and a top priority to re-sign for sure but if you have any other ones definitely let me know down below on which ones you want the Rams to bring back. So getting in the first re-signing that the LA Rams made was Joseph Nobu and this was an amazing re-signing. I really hope the Rams brought him back because this was a very versatile offensive lineman for the LA Rams and we really haven't seen a ton from him. He's filled in for Andrew Whitworth when he's gone down a couple times and he's also played really really solid at left guard. If you guys remember in the playoffs when Andrew Whitworth was out and Nobu was playing left tackle he played a really, really good game versus Tampa Bay, and that is no easy front to go up against. And this is a guy that the Rams fans want to see even more of. We really haven't seen a lot of him, but what we have seen out of him has been really, really impressive, a homegrown talent. So it's going to be really fun to see the way Joseph Noteboom progresses with the Rams, the more time he has with us. And if Whitworth retires this year, I feel very confident with him going in at left tackle for the 2022 NFL season, or even at left guard if Whitworth decides to stay in for another season. Now, a player we have leaving the LA Rams is none other than right guard, Austin Corbett and if you guys don't remember we traded for him back in 2019 for a fifth round pick from the Cleveland Browns cool story for him you know everybody was kind of doubting him the Browns were doubting his talent the Rams brought him in developed him progressed him a little bit more and he was a guy who could play both center and guard really well and so a nice versatile piece as far as that goes and he played really well at guard in my opinion in the 2021 NFL season Sad to see him go, but definitely happy for him to be able to get his opportunity in Carolina and wishing him nothing but the best. Another player staying for the Los Angeles Rams is none other than center Brian Allen. And I was just kind of 50-50 on this one of us bringing him back. That is because he definitely played really, really solid in the 2021 NFL season and he exceeded a lot of the expectations that Rams fans, NFL fans had for him at the beginning of the season. And the story he had coming off of that injury definitely makes you want to root for him. Um, but for me, I was just kind of wondering if they'd bring him back and not sure what their thoughts were on him because in my opinion, he would have strings of games where he's playing well or have solid games to good games. And then there would be like these beefier, bigger defensive tackles or defensive linemen that he would just kind of get dominated on on certain reps. Now, of course, he can't be perfect, but that's just kind of an area that I saw was kind of lacking for him was when he was playing those bigger types of guys. So it's going to be interesting to see how his career ends up panning out with the LA Rams. Hopefully he can continue to get better because he did not play bad by any means for the Rams. But I, I could just be nitpicking here. Let me know if you guys think the same thing, but he's going to be staying with the Los Angeles Rams. Another player that is leaving the Los Angeles Rams is none other than Sebastian Joseph Day. And this one kind of makes me sad because I was a fan of him, not only his play, but his personality, his fun loving personality. He brought the energy and he, he just kind of seemed like a goofy type of person. So I was always rooting for him, but he's going to be playing in Los Angeles for the Chargers now at nose tackle, in my opinion. He was the best nose tackle in the league, really great run defender. Felt like he really started to explode in the 2022 NFL season. And he was like never a really good season in 2021 before he ended up getting injured and missed most of the season. So we're definitely rooting for Spatchin Joseph Day, hoping nothing but the best. But I was kind of sad that the Chargers took him. You know, I was hoping we could find a way to keep him around. But Spatchin Joseph Day, I wish you nothing but the best. And the last player that the LA Rams are keeping around as of March 14th is Coleman Shelton and this guy was our backup center he I believe he only played one game in replacing Brian Allen when he went down and he actually played really really well and it seems like he was really good at communicating with the offensive line and making sure that they're all on the same page which was really nice and so it's going to be interesting to see this could be more of like a depth move or keeping the same bloodline making sure that we sell that cohesive group around or he could be a guy who could play at guard maybe to replace Austin Corbett um, I think that it's always good to keep cohesiveness and just to keep depth on the offensive line. And so I think that's kind of what the Rams were trying to do. But who knows, he could be a hidden gem that we just need to see more time out of. Um, but just another solid re-signing by the Los Angeles Rams. That is going to be it for the video, guys. But I appreciate you for sticking through the entire video. Let me know which re-signing was your favorite. Of course, they're all along the offensive line today. But still, let me know down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day. What's up and God bless, guys.